Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Today I wanted to show you how you can work with custom supports in Ultimaker Cura. So I have an object here. This is one of the objects from a collection that's available on thingiverse.com. This is a series of 3D printing terminology visual displays. This one is for demonstrating the concept of supports. So the idea is that you would print this with supports on one side of the model and without supports on the other side, and you can then use it to demonstrate for people what you mean when you talk about printing with supports. So there's a couple of different ways you could do this. Obviously, one way is you print the whole thing with supports, and then you simply remove the supports from one side. But we want to be a little bit trickier than that here. So I'm going to show you a couple of other ways you could do this. One option is using the support blocker feature that's built into Cura. So to access that, you have to select your model first, then you can click on the support blocker, and then click back on our model to add a little cube object, which we can then resize using the scaling tool. Let me deselect my main object and just select that new one. And now we can scale that. Let's make it larger. I'll just go oversized a little bit. And now we can move that object using the Move tool. We'll move it over to the right and push it back some. And now it's covering that right side of the object. We'll move it a little bit more so it's not affecting anything else. And now that's going to tell Cura not to print supports in that part of the object. So if we turn on the option for generating support here, and then we let it slice, and now if we go to the layer view, we can scroll through and see that it is putting supports everywhere that you would expect, where there's significant overhangs, but nothing in that area where we placed our support blocker. So that's one way that you could do this. Now, now, this isn't a great example because this really wouldn't print very well without having anything supporting it. So really, in this case, your option, your better option would be to print with supports um, and, and take them out. But this is just to demonstrate how you can prevent supports from being generated in one part of an object. Now, another way that you could do this, we'll go ahead and remove that support block tool just by selecting it and selecting delete. We'll go back to solid view. And now I'll show you another way to do this using custom supports. So in the marketplace, under plugins, there's a plugin called custom supports, contributed by Krasimir Stefanov. And once you install this, it will add a new icon. You have to have your object selected to access it. Over here, custom supports. We can now select that and rotate, zoom, and click to place supports exactly where we want them. So for example, I can place supports down here. And maybe I want them in this area as well. Pretty much the same places that we had them before. Now, one trick with the Custom Supports plugin is that you need to actually turn off supports in your slicing settings, because in this case, we want the Custom Supports plugin to generate those supports, and we don't want Cura to generate supports anywhere else. Now we'll let it slice, and now when we go back to the layer view, you'll see that we have supports in those areas where we place them, but not anywhere else. So that's another really handy way to place supports exactly where you need them. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.